Expositions by Charles Hedden Spurgeon Luke 4, 16-30, John 8, 37-59 Ah! V. We will read, from the Revised Version, two passages which record attempts made to kill our Lord before his time had come. You will see, from the sermon, why we read them. Luke 4, 16-21 And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and he entered, as his custom was, into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And he opened the book and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, he has sent me to proclaim release to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and gave it back to the attendant, and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, Today has this scripture been fulfilled in your ears. Alas, not in their hearts they had heard Christ read the prophecy that related to himself, but they had not accepted its message. 22-27 And all bore him witness, and wondered at the words of grace which proceeded out of his mouth, and they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, Doubtless you will say unto me this parable, Physician, heal yourself, whatever we have heard done at Capernaum, do also here in your own country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is acceptable in his own country. But of a truth I say unto you, There were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when there came a great famine over all the land, and unto none of them was Elijah sent, but only to Zephath, in the land of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. Thus the Saviour taught God's absolute right to deal out his mercies as he pleases. To that great doctrine of divine sovereignty, Christ's hearers would not submit, even as many in the present day will not yield. 28. And they were all filled with wrath in the synagogue. They admired Christ's style of speech, but when he came to that man humbling and God glorifying doctrine, they were filled with wrath. 28-30 As they heard these things, and they rose up, and cast him forth out of the city, and led him unto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might throw him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. John 8, 37-59 I know that you are Abraham's seed, yet you seek to kill me, because my word has not free course in you. I speak the things which one have seen with my father, and you also do the things which you heard from your father they answered and said unto him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said unto them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I heard from God, this did not Abraham. You do the works of your father they said unto him, We were not born of fornication, we have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came forth and am come from God, for neither have I come of myself but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. You are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father it is your will to do. 
He was a murderer from the beginning, and stood not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. Whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar, and the father thereof but because I say the truth, you believe me not which of you convicts me of sin? If I say truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God hears the words of God, for this cause you hear them not, because you are not of God. The Jews answered and said unto him, Say we not well that you are a Samaritan, and have a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honour my father, and you dishonour me. But I seek not my own glory, there is one that seeks and judges. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keeps my word, he shall never see death. The Jews said unto him, Now we know that you have a devil Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and you say, If a man keeps my word, he shall never taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead, whom make you yourself? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing, it is my Father that glorifies me of whom you say, that he is your God, and you have not known him, but I know him, and if I should say, I know him not, I shall be like unto you, a liar, but I know him, and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. The Jews therefore said unto him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. They took up stones therefore to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself, and went out of the temple.